Exactly. Yeah, you know what? Today, what you need to be picking up as you're heading on out the door, take a jacket or a sweater with you. Go ahead and take the sunglasses as well. We're getting already a good bit of sunshine out there, clearing of those clouds, but temperatures are cool. We look pretty good out here in Whitestown. You can see a few clouds off in the distance, but already we've seen a lot of that push off to the east and where we're seeing that cloud cover on the eastern side of the state, even that will continue to decrease as we head through the day. Spotty rain chance for us today locally. Storm threat well to the south, into the deep south, the southeastern parts of the states where you can see ongoing at this time, we have a serious situation with severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings in place over the panhandle of Florida, southern Georgia, as that is moving south and east, and that is where the storm threat is going to be today. Portions of Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, if you have family in these areas, make sure that they are prepared for that severe weather potential. 52 degrees is where we are at this time in Indianapolis, 52 in Muncie and 50 in Batesville. We're in the 40s, Lafayette and Kokomo, and these temperatures are running 10 to 15 degrees colder than this time yesterday. You're going to want that jacket. There's a little bit of a chill out there in the air this morning on into the afternoon. While these temperatures will be below average, our average is 72 for the day. I think we get up to 67 in Indianapolis. Still really not going to feel too bad. Certainly going to be cooler from where we've been, but overall I still say that's a pretty comfortable temperature for us. As we head into the afternoon, this is 12 p.m. on Future View. I'd say we're still mainly drying at this point and then we'll be mainly dry through the afternoon, but this is when we could see a few spotty showers. I'd say 12 o'clock through the afternoon and on into the evening. Maybe we get a couple passing isolated showers around. I'm not expecting any thunderstorm activity and most of us will remain rain free, but if you get under one of these showers, don't worry. It's nothing that should last very long and it's not going to be a big rain producer for you. We have the Pacers at home tonight. Tip off at 7 p.m. Temperatures in those mid 60s as you're heading home from the game. Hopefully that Pacers win. We'll see temperatures in the lower 60s. Overnight we drop to the low and mid 50s and our best chance of rain over the weekend comes pre dawn tomorrow. This is 430 AM. We'll see some showers moving on through the state by 730 AM. I do think this is pushing off to the east southeast might still be a little bit damp out there, but we should be climbing uh, back into temperatures that will get into the upper 60s and lower 70s tomorrow afternoon and primarily dry for the rest of your Saturday. So if you're heading out to the track for the Grand Prix overall, I think things are looking pretty good. A little bit breezy though. Those winds will be gusting near 30 miles an hour into the afternoon and then into Mother's Day. We will start off with temperatures in the mid 40s in the morning, a cold start, but temperatures in the afternoon, lower 70s, a mix of sun and clouds. It's looking great for Mother's Day to celebrate mom on Sunday. As we get into Monday, mid 70s for high temperatures. Rain arrives late Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday will be our wettest day of next week with some scattered showers around and we'll keep 70 degree warmth on through the rest of the week.